Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. A few years ago I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing boat for the price of one dollar. And since then I've been rebuilding that boat from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. This video is going to be a big update on a lot of the different things that have been going on inside the boat. A lot of really nice joinery and cabinetry going on in the saloon, the galley, uh, making doors and so on. You're also going to meet a couple of new members of the crew which is exciting but we're going to start by looking at some of George's work in the saloon. So for the past several weeks I've been continuing work on the settee. We're getting much closer to finished. We have the seats and backs made now. The seat is not on at the moment. We've been working on system stuff, running wires and piping through, cutting out uh, holes for the hydronic heaters and such, which is mounted right behind here, as well as some outlets and other things. Uh, we also installed some storage underneath and behind the settee because space is always at a premium, like this locker right here and there's another one next to it, and there's a few that go beneath the seat as well. There's also the firewood locker here and this cherry table on top, which opens up to access that, as well as below the wood burner, there's a similar locker. Yeah, this project has gone really well. It's been pretty seamless, maybe one or two hiccups. Yeah, I mean- oh, me. I went through the wall. Yeah, I mean, Looper's real. I mean, I can't yeah. <laughs> What's that face about, Patty? I'm cutting owls in this countertop that I worked really hard on, and it's just scary to... I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, I told Raquel, like, hey, come out and film me. It'll be super fun. And now I'm like, I don't know what to say. Patty, who's Raquel? She doesn't exist. <laughs> she doesn't exist. Hi, I'm Raquel and this is my dog Django. I've been helping out at Samsung Boat Co. for several months now, helping Leo do some rough cuts editing uh, and a little bit of social media here. Uh, I love it and I'm so thankful for this opportunity and to work with this great team. And I gotta give a special thank you for Patty for being so fun to film and edit and make me laugh every day even when I'm not around him. <laughs>
burnishing. Dull stuff needs to be made shiny again. David was just gonna show me where the rollers are. Oh, wow. Dad, it's right here. Thanks, Dad. What you got more? Hey. And that's Thanks, how Dave. we work you together. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm David. Um, I, uh, I come from Florida, here in Port Townsend now, working, uh, working on boats, uh, doing finish work for the, the beautiful Tally Ho project. I varnish, I scuff, I, uh, I squeeze into seams, I sand things. Whatever Bailey says needs to get done is what gets done. What was the question? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> what See, am I varnishing? What are you varnishing? There you go. Uh, this is a countertop. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? <laughs> this is the main mast. <laughs> no, I'm varnishing the engine. <laughs> So I've just started work on the doors for both the aft cabin and the head. Um, and just like the engine room doors, we're making these doors out of quarter sawn oak. The reason for that mostly is that quarter sawn oak is much more stable than flat sawn oak. It doesn't expand as much, it won't warp as much. Uh, the other thing that's nice about it though is it just looks a lot nicer. So I do have some more information about our open house event that is happening Sunday the 10th of September. That's the same weekend as the Wooden Boat Festival here in Port Townsend, which I highly recommend. The information about the open house is on my website, which is linked in the description below the video. If you are coming, it's going to be from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. Please don't come after that. And there is on my website a way to book a time slot. Uh, so please do that. It's going to help reduce the queue and let people see the boat more quickly and easily. We 
you gonna ask me what I'm doing? Hey, Patty. You look curious. We got this uh, G10 panel here that was uh, glued up and filleted. See these lovely fillets? Dude, they look great. Fillets. Fillets, huh? Yeah, we filleted it. And G10 is an inert material that won't corrode ever. So I'm told fire resistant, waterproof. This is all to protect the electrical panel. I like to put screws in my mouth because they taste good. You ever swallow one? Yeah, a bunch of times. It's kind of a tricky operation. Yeah, what, well, you have to put two screws in that thing or what? <laughs> Nice, dude. It looks great. How did you join it? Thickened epoxy fillets. Fillets, huh? In the corners here. Yeah, it's all. It's all. Um, it's all the uh, west. <laughs> I wonder if YouTube can so... tell that this is the end of the day. <laughs> like, I can't even ask you a simple question, and you can't answer anyways. So I started working on the hanging lockers in the galley here. Haven't finished the face frame yet, but we're going to dry fit the countertop. You want to be in the oven bay? I do. Yeah. <laughs> you are in the refrigerator opening. Okay, you're back. And. Now that it's there, you give it a good. Oh. Should I get the hatches? Yes, I want to see those hatches. We've got a lovely galley here with the countertop. Yeah, so this is the insulating lid of the fridge that is going to get screwed in to the hatch here. Yeah, back here we've got a bunch of, you know, dry goods. We've got your Cheetos, Doritos, and Fritos over there. The major food groups. That's right, George. Other corn cool snacks are available. The stainless steel tabs here are for if we're on, if we're on like port tack for a day or an extended period of time and the boat is healed over like, like such for a long time then we can just lock it in and then and then that'll stay nice and secure so it's not all tippy and rolling around so that we can pull the turkey out without undue danger we've got the faucet just dry mounted here and this is just like a mock-up block Check out what I found. <laughs> it's two things. It's a storage cabinet and a seat. 
you'll be charting here. This is where you'll chart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soaked on it. That looks great. Thanks, dude. The blood will be uh, on top of it. Uh, we're gonna have nice little, what, are you going with leather? We're gonna have nice like leather, um, what is it called with the buttons? Tufted. We're gonna have nice leather tufted seat, little cushion here as well. What was your most joyous moment? The corner post. Getting these like little, it's got a bunch of like details in it, r nice and rounded. It's got rabbits down the side so everything can nest in there. Oh, I love rabbits. <laughs> hairs. <laughs> There's hairs in it. Rebates? Rebates. <laughs> Rebates. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the inside of the boat is looking really fantastic. So much beautiful joinery in there and more going in every day. It really is starting to feel like more of a functional living space in there, which is really nice. Now, very soon we're going to be going to the other end of town to check out the progress on the spas. But for now, thanks a lot for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. It does make a huge difference. It means we're able to keep on doing this work and it means we're able to keep on making and editing these videos. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. I wonder if YouTube can so, tell that this is the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer questions to a Canon DSR 360. Oh, the mic's off. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, dude. No, it's it's not on, is it? It's good. It's good.